Could you give an example of maybe more an extreme example of behavior that scientists might be considering is controlled by bacteria in our stomachs? Yeah, so one possibility that research on mammals suggests, um, maybe also the case in humans, is that microbes may be manipulating our brains through signaling via the vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve is sort of the superhighway between all of the nerves that are in our gut and between our brains. And by changing the signaling on the vagus nerve, those microbes might actually be able to affect our anxiety levels, um, which, you know, we know that anxiety is associated with different kinds of eating behaviors in humans. So I think that's a really intriguing possibility. So they could raise our anxiety and possibly lower it? Possibly. And then there's also uh, a couple of other things that microbes can potentially do, which is actually changing the taste receptors that we have. And I think this is a really fascinating possibility because it suggests that microbes might be not just sort of messing with the signaling along our existing nervous system, but potentially changing our perception. Could you give us an example of how our taste receptors might change and why? So you could imagine a situation where altering the perception of taste would change the amount of, for example, sugar that one might consume. So say you have a gut microbe that's dependent on easy carbohydrate sugar, altering the perception of taste could then lead to higher sugar consumption. So if you, for example, make the taste receptors less sensitive or you um, have fewer of them, then you might actually need to take more sugar in in order to stimulate them to the threshold level.